Hi, so just to finish our Friday off, let's ease into the weekend with some handwriting, shall we? So, um, carrying on like with the pattern that we've been learning, remember we've been learning pre-flick, make it look like a C, haven't we? So we've had C, we've had D, we've had A, and we've had O, because they all start with that one that looks like a C, doesn't it? All right, so today we're going to have two more letters. It's pretty dark in here because the sun's beaming in. Going to have two more letters and then um, we'll see if we can join all six of them together. I'll prepare my board whilst you go and get yourselves ready. Sharpen your pencil if you've got a pencil today or if you're using a pen, make sure the ink is ready. Okay, so the first one of our um, two letters that we're going to do today, again, like I said, we're using that C family, so it's going to start off looking like a C, but we'll carry it on to make it change. These ones are going to be descenders, which means they hang below a line, okay? Um, and when we do a descenders, we can use that tail to flick up into the next letter. So the first one we'll do is going to be the letter G. So here we go, so I'm going to do my pre-flick make it look like a C. I'll never ever take my pen off but just so you can see what it should look like to start with. So it goes up to the top back round that same line, join it up to the top and then hang it down with a tail. All right so there's my letter G so I'm going to make it look like a C first, back round that same line up to the top, down with a tail. Pre-flick, make it look like a C, up down with the tail. It's really important that when you make it look like, see I'll try and do it sideways with my pen, so this isn't normally how I hold a pen, but just so you can see, get that pre-flick, go up to the top, follow the line back around again, look, to get that C shape, okay? So G, 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 show me G, G, G. If I was gonna put it onto a line, as I said the other day when we were thinking about the sizes, you need to make sure that the, the, the fat bit, <laughs> of the G fits up to the size that all of those middle sized ones go. The tail hangs below. Okay, so I'll have a go on my line. Here we are with a G. There it is. All right, flick up to make it look like a C first. Close it up, give it a G. Flick up, round like a C, close it up, give it a tail. Okay, so there's G, G, G. Go away and do me G, G, G whilst we get on ready for the next phase of G, G, G. Okay, so for the next phase of G, when we join it up to make it like a C and close the gap, give it the tail. This time, don't take your pen off. Look, it's going to loop around and that's going to turn into the pre-flick. And then it's going to go down, loop it around. That's going to turn into that pre-flick. Loop it around. That's going to turn into the pre-flick. Loop it around. That's going to turn into the pre-flick loop it around. Okay, so there's a line of G, and again, look, we can do it up here on our line. So loop it around, look, make the loop turn into the pre-flick each time. That's how you would join to a G and from a G. Ooh, wasn't a very neat one, was it? I got a little bit scruffier as I got to the end there, didn't I? Make yours look all beautifully neat. Remember, I'm leaning my board upwards. If I was leaning on a desk, yeah, no problem. Leaning on a wobbly board, gosh. Okay, so you go away and do G, G, G. I'll, I'll clear my board. <coughs> All right, so I'll clear my board ready for Q, Q, Q. Okay, so here we go then for Q. So it's the same story really as all of those other letters. Pre-flick, make it look like a C. Come down, but this time you're going to do a little wibbly wobbly. It's almost like a R coming off there, isn't it? Look. So pre-flick, make it look like a C. Join it up, go down backwards. Pre-flick into the C, join it up, down, go backwards. Okay, so this time Q needs to go backwards, whereas G looped around this way, Q goes the other way, doesn't it? Okay, and again, if I was going to have them in a line up here, I'd make sure that fat bit of my Q is the same size as all my other letters, and the tail hangs below the line. We'll go straight into joining it. So, I'm gonna, hang on, my pen's running out. I have to do that to get the ink flowing. So I'm going to go pre-flick into the queue, down with a flick, use that as the pre-flick this time. Down, use that as the pre-flick this time. 
obviously a Q would always be joined into a, a U, wouldn't it? All right. So um, you can even practice that if you want, even though we haven't practiced how to do a U yet. Uh, you can have a practice at doing it. Say so pre flick Q into U. Pre flick Q into you. All right, so you can have a go at doing that if you want to. So have a practice with Q. Now we're going to have a go at joining all six of our letters that we've learned so far. They're all of the C family, aren't they? So be ready for that. Here we go. Here we go. So we're going to have a go now at joining all six of our letters. Let me just remind you what they are. They are C, A, D, O, G, Q. All right, they're all of the letters that we've learned so far. So remember, when you go from the pre-flick up to the top, go back around that same line. All right, so I'll do one really big one, then I'll have to pause it to clean it again. <laughs> Don't like muck on my board. So here we go, pre-flick all the way up to the top of the C, then back around that same line to come around. Okay, that's so important that you go up to the top first and then back again. Don't make it look like this though. That just looks like that famous Japanese painting, doesn't it? Like a big tsunami wave. So make sure that you follow the exact line that you started from. Hang on, just got to clean my board. Oh, that's better. It was worrying me having dirt on there. So here we go. I'm going to see if I can join C A D O G Q. Here we go. So start with my C. I might remember the order of the words unless I keep looking. A. And look, I'm not taking my pen off of my board at all, not one single time. G into the Q. There you go. Maybe I could have a go at doing a different order as well. D, A, Q, G, O, C. So have a little play around. I don't think we'd be able to spell any words yet, can we? Uh, what about dog? We could do cod, cad. That's about it, isn't it? Gad, gack. Have a go anyway, just joining up. You don't have to make words really. Just have a go at joining all of those C letters. Next week, we'll start a new family. All right, so these are all of the C ones because they start by looking like a C. All right, so maybe parents, you can have a practice at doing this as well. And then you'll be able to correct your children when they are writing their letters wrong. Most important thing, as I keep on saying, pre-flick up to the top, back along the same line, join it up if you're going to make another layer, let's say join it up, down with a flick, okay? And don't take your pen off as you're writing. Let's just do one more for luck. So we'll have G, A, T, T, where did that go? C, D, O, uh, what one have I left out? Q, oh, look, I've got a wobbly now because I was giggling. Got to do it again. O, G, that's Mr. Stanton with the handwriting, C, A, D, Q, poor Q, he's always last, don't leave me to last, I like a being in the middle, okay, so there you go, have a go at doing C, A, D, A, G, Q, show me what you got, have a lovely weekend, won't you, just think, this time next Friday, it'll be a bank holiday, and you don't have to go to school, okay.